Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. For our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world. And more abundantly, to you, word. All right, so by the grace of God, meaning the plan of salvation and the grace of Jesus Christ, meaning the atonement, the mercy, through the mercy of the atonement, we can live in the world, but not of the world. We're not forced to have the world live its desires through us, nor are we forced to be painted into something that we're not. Just because we're imperfect, we can still become like Christ through our efforts each and every day. We have already had our conversation with the world. We have already said that we wish to be different from them. And we wish to be more like our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ. And the testimony of our conscience is that we strive to keep it clear. And when we do make a bad choice and it becomes heavy, we strive to repent. And we are sincere about it because we have the potential to become as gods. Someday. Not through the wisdom of the world, because the wisdom of the world is fallible. Because they have taken what God has given them and twisted it. That it might satisfy their own selfish, carnal needs and wants. So we need to rely on the grace of God, for it is by His grace that we are saved. He has done everything for us that we may be able to strive forward. We cannot act on our own. And the testimony of our conscience is that we can rely on the atonement when we make our conscience heavy. Even it. When our conscience is not heavy, we can rely on the atonement and godly sincerity in that we truly want to do better, that we truly want to learn beyond fleshy wisdom, that we're not going to rely on the wisdom and knowledge of this world to be able to get closer to God, that we may turn our hearts and our actions more fully towards the Lord, for it is by the Lord that it is made possible for us to be able to look beyond our sins and live beyond our sins. It's such a simple thing. The atonement has allowed us to look and live beyond our sins. That we might be able to truly become who we want to become and who we are meant to become. And not be forced to live of the world just because we've sinned. We don't have to be burdened by our sins. We can let them go to the atonement. We don't have to be burdened by our troubles. We can let them go to the atonement. By the grace of God, we can live in the world, but we don't have to live of the world. We can turn our faces and our hearts more abundantly towards the Lord and... We don't have to be stuck. We can move beyond that which holds us back. And we need to rejoice for that, for it is because of the Lord we have reason to rejoice and seek a clean conscience. We don't have to rely on the wisdom of man, for the wisdom of God in Jesus Christ is better, and we can become better than we are. If we so wish. Satan doesn't want us to have rejoicing in the testimony of our conscience and seeking to become, and he doesn't want us to seek to become gods through the simplicity that is the gospel and the atonement because he will never be able to become better than he is because he threw that opportunity away a long time ago and he strives to use his spirit to try and make us and others think that fleshly, fleshly wisdom outranks godly wisdom and that we need 
to rely solely on the world so we can survive. We need to rely solely on God so we can survive. For the wisdom of the world is important. It is not overly crucial. Because God will guide us that we might be able to survive. As long as we are able to have a clear conscience, we will have His Spirit to be with us. That we might be able to strive and survive. For it's not the world that will determine where we end up eternally. It's our choices and how we choose to live. And the desires of our hearts and through the atonement we can know that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ love us dearly and that we can rejoice in. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.